Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Dr. Barnett, welcome to the Valder BB Show. I want to talk to my audience, or I've got an expert to talk to you about. If you've been diagnosed with lung cancer, you may be asking yourself, what now? I've got Dr. Barnett and Brandy in the, uh, in the uh, studio to address a topic for us. Dr. Barnett, thank you for being here on the ba- Valder BB Show. Thank you for having me. Dr. Barnett, you are Doctor of Internal Medicine and... You are also a cancer doctor, and is this correct? You're a lung cancer patient? So I'm actually an internal medicine doctor, and I am a lung cancer patient, yes. That's powerful. Tell us a bit of your story, because very seldom are or the doctors on the other side, or we very seldom hear that story. Well, when I began my internal medicine residency, I realized that my exercise tolerance was diminishing and I've always been active. I danced, ran track, swam. So this decrease in tolerance just seemed a little out of normal and then I began wheezing. I went to my pulmonologist thinking I was getting adult onset asthma and after a whirlwind of tests actually came out with a stage four lung cancer diagnosis which was completely and utterly shocking. Uh, We've been told that Lung cancer is a smoker's disease, and I have no known risk factors. I am a non-smoker. So being diagnosed was just completely out of this world for me. Thankfully, I was um, tested for a biomarker. I was found to be ALK positive, and I have been on targeted therapies since then, and I've been five years with no evidence of disease. I want to just thank you for sharing that powerful, powerful story. I'm so so glad that you're here to share your story. Tell us about what biomarkers are and why do patients need to ask about that? So uh, every cancer is unique and knowing what drives that cancer is really what biomarker testing is. Biomarker is a mutation that actually pushes the cancer to be more aggressive. And there are many different biomarkers, such as EGFR, ALK, KRAS. Brandy and I are both ALK positive. And being able to know that you can get medications that literally target that mutation and are better tolerated, they're less toxic, and usually patients have much better responses than the traditional chemotherapy and radiation therapies. So that's why it is so important when you get diagnosed with lung cancer to ask your doctor, what is my biomarker? Okay, I'm going to come back to you in a moment, doctor, but I'm going to ask Brandy to chime in here. Brandy, you're also a lung patient. Tell me about being a lung lung cancer patient and also the biomarker therapy, how it's helped you. So yes, I, um, I'm a mom of four and I was diagnosed in my late 30s and my story is very like similar to Dr. Barnett's. I was active and just had some shortness of breath after while I was talking, not while I was actually being active. And it also had a small cough I'd ignored. Um, but for me, I was lucky that my community hospital actually sent my tumor for biomarker testing and Um, I was able to get on a targeted therapy as well, which was fantastic because I was initially diagnosed stage 3B and had to do chemo and um, radiation first, which was a very, which is a very tough treatment no matter what cancer you're on. And um, being able to take the targeted therapy made me have more energy to, you know, be a mom to my... uh, my youngest and all of them, but my youngest was only three years old at the time that I was diagnosed. So having that biomarker, knowing it and being able to take a targeted therapy has helped me just live a better life. 
Well, I'm so glad that your hospital was so smart to do what they did. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to switch to Dr. Barnett. Dr. Barnett, with this biomarker therapy, is this the current revolution for saving someone's life? And this is what I mean by that. Brandy was stage three. You were stage four. Those are usually the scariest stage, if I could call it that. Right. Uh the thing is, unfortunately, not everyone who has lung cancer will have a, um, a biomarker. However, what we're finding is that it doesn't matter if you have a smoking history, doesn't have a smoking history, because finding out if you have a biomarker can definitely change your treatment plans. Um, as I said before, biomarkers are much better tolerated than traditional chemo and radiation therapies. And we are finding that we're having so much more um, lung cancer survivors because we're having these new therapies coming into play. And this is one of the main reasons why research is just so important because, you know, as Brandy said, she started these therapies, you know, a couple months after they were approved. and. It's 10 years ago, 15 years ago, if we had been diagnosed, we probably would not have been able to have this conversation right now. Right. So that's just, just how important research is. So clinical trials, they're very, very important. How does one, and I know there's probably someone in my audience who's listening, how would you participate in a clinical trial like this? So clinical trials, you can actually go to clinicaltrials.gov or you can go to lcfamerica.org and find out a lot more information, not only about clinical trials, but also lung cancer, about the biomarkers, about, ask, about questions to ask your doctor. But clinical trials, um, there is a, you know, a myth that oh, it's not safe, clinical trials are safe, and this is where we find the therapies of tomorrow today. So. If you find that you're not responding to the therapies that are traditional, like chemo radiation, you're not, um, you're progressing even on the, um, the targeted therapies, that is where a clinical trial comes in because you're now uh, being studied on therapies that you know, are going to be studied by leading clinicians, leading scientists, and more than likely will help in terms of uh, um, cutting down on the progression. Ladies, I want to thank you so much. You guys are my new heroes. <laughs> I will never be the same after having this conversation, and I hope my audience feels the same way. I hope they feel hopeful. I hope they feel that there is people that care about them. Dr. Um, Barnett, one more time, where they go and find more information? LCFamerica.org. Ladies, be blessed. I really thank you for stopping by the Valder BB Show. It's been my total pleasure. Have a good day. Thank you. And in print publications, I interviewed the world's most fascinating authors, all because I love a good book. This summer, I partnered with WPS for BB Summer Book Giveaway. We're giving away New York Times bestsellers and award-winning books. Books that inspire me, and I'm sure they'll inspire you. To be eligible to win a copy of Jesus Can Give You a New Life, answer this question. What is God's greatest gift to mankind? You'll find the answer in John 3.16 of the Bible. Send your response to the email at the bottom of the screen. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you for the next BB Summer Book Giveaway.